Que onda Chalupa lovers, welcome to Spire Golf Tash Hall, Tenok Ibrahim Diaz, the 17 year old center attacking mid who sets at a 66 overall, so 3 star skimmos and 4 star weak foots, uh, some decent physicals from a start I would say, especially the balance uh, being at a good level you see here, 70 acceleration, 75 sprint speed, 79 agility and 82 balance, 67 jumping and 62 stamina while mentally, 54 reaction, 57 composure and 61 attack position, you're getting those tackle stats, 72 ball control and 70 63 dribbling, wonderful dribbler from the start, not too bad the 65 finishing either, 63 short pass, also 69 shot power, 62 long shots, and 62 curve there as well, so we'll take a look at those couple stats, emanated from the squad hub, the vision uh, is at the 58 mark from the start and 43 strength, so not the best vision or short passing necessarily for a center attacking mid from the start, but very good pure dribbler, uh, he's 5 foot 7 also, uh, has that nice smaller frame, right foot high medium work rates, 4 star weak foots, and 3 Three star skimmel, so that five foot seven, uh, decent balance from the stars can feel really good on the ball, and of course, along with that pretty good dribbling he has. He has also the finesse shots, flair, and technical dribbler traits on him as well. There, so we'll take a look at his growth here at the end of that first season with a plus three, uh, some good improvements there, a little bit to the agility, uh, as well as the reactions. Technically, though, some really good improvements to the ball control, the plus five, plus four dribbling, plus nine finishing, uh, plus four long pass, plus two short pass. A uh, bit of growth to the shot power and long shots as well. Uh, long shots per usual are going to get a lot of growth throughout this. But a plus 8 to that sprint speed uh, is a huge improvement there. Technically, plus 5 ball control, plus 7 to the dribbling and finishing. A little bit to the short pass of the plus 3 as long with the shot power as well there. So up to the 75 overall now at age 20. Some pretty good steady growth here. Plus 7 acceleration, plus 2 sprint speed, and plus 8 to the agility. Up to the 90 agility now. And I see the balance growing also up to the 85 mark with a plus 2. Technically, ball control dribbling finishing long pass getting some really good growth uh, long pass seems to grow a lot for center attack even unfortunately not too much to the short pass but the pure dribbling the finishing and the pace and agility growth uh, I would say kind of makes up for it as you can see again plus five to the sprint speed in the agility there plus five to the ball control also a little bit, little bit more growth to the passing stats though with the plus four long pass and plus three to that short pass also there so 80 overall now age 22 he's grown pretty quickly and a lot of growth to the pace obviously he's now maxed out in that agility along with a plus four acceleration plus Plus five to that sprint speed and technically some good steady growth there to the ball control drilling with plus threes plus six long pass along with plus two that short pass as well so just a few points away from that potential now the 82 overall at age 23 is now maxed out in that sprint speed uh, plus for the acceleration also plus to the balance 90 balance he's gonna feel amazing on the ball I really enjoyed using him he felt so good uh, dribbling in its quick cuts as well so 84 overall now age 24 just a point away from hitting that potential basically as he's now maxed out in that acceleration so maxed out pace and agility uh, is pretty ridiculous and some more growth to that finishing which is at the 92 mark and long shots up to the 81 as well some really good growth to that stat also but he was a lot of fun to use uh, just felt so explosive especially playing as a center attack mid behind a really good striker uh, you can really make things happen create a lot of chances you can see just that quick little cut and turn fortunately the finish for me was very poor but that was you can see how explosive he is especially in this highlights a very explosive dribble that turn that cut was amazing right into a beautiful finish also you can see it again on the replay had to show the replay that's very explosive I love to see that type of movements why exactly why I generally like these sh smaller shorter players you can see that turn again was very good then taking effort on goal that's just saved by the goalkeeper there as well and again another very rapid turn running at the defense again taking effort just off the crossbar unfortunately again being played through here off the defense going through uh, and unfortunately is fouled but uh, could work as well as you can see with the quick turning the Jody and the pace he has on him also again being played through now has that pace to get in behind with how much that grew uh, over the years especially in doing a good job finishing there as well kind of rounded the goalkeeper also notice you can do that a little bit more at times in this game what a ball here though the passing unfortunately isn't amazing be short pass growth isn't the best really but so you saw a really nice pass and again this quick little cut after being played through and eventually picks out a pass uh, as well there so just really fun to use so agile and pacey as he hits his potential of 85 overall at age 
25. You can see maxed out pace and agility, 91 balance, 69 jumping, 65 stamina, mentally 62 reaction, 66 composure, and 71 attack position there. So uh, also technically 95 ball control, maxed out dribbling, 94 finishing, 84 long pass, 76 short pass, 75 shot power along with 84 long shots. So very good dribbler and finisher. Uh, the passing is solid. Long pass and end up growing a lot more than the short pass, but that just kind of seems to happen really in general for center attacking mids uh, for whatever reason. But you can see 78 as a striker, 85 as a winger, 85 as a center forward, and 83 as a right mid, left mid. So it could be very effective for you out also, uh, especially with that agility cutting, cutting in from that wing could be really a, a good there. But I did prefer him a bit more as a center attacking mid. But 71 vision and 48 strength. Not the best strength, obviously, but he's so agile. He makes players miss and then makes up for it. Penalties are the 66 mark, 5 foot 7 again, right foot to high medium work rates, 4 star weak foots, and 3 star skimmers with speedster, dribbler, acrobat, clinical finisher, and complete forward specialties. A lot of specialties there, obviously. And again, 5 foot 7, a nice smaller frame, got a plus 29 to the finishing up to the 94, just a plus 13 to the short pass. Plus 26 to the dribbling though, a plus 36 to the short to the long pass. Excuse me. So compare that to the to the short pass. That's like a 23 point difference in growth. That's pretty huge. I don't know why it's that case, but the algorithm in general for FIFA is very weird. So plus 23 to the ball control, plus 21 acceleration, plus 24 sprint speed, plus 20 agility, plus 8 reactions, and plus 9 to the balance. So very good improvements in those stats. Plus 22 to the long shots plus 10 positioning and a plus 13 to the vision there as well a bit to the marking and tackling also so turns into an amazing player can play out wide he's so good once he gets all that pace and agility growth uh, already has really good balance also in that short shorter frame so he's going to feel pretty solid on the ball from the start but even more so when he gets that ridiculous physical growth and uh, just that dribbling ball control growth as well and of course can finish uh, some chances very well as you saw uh, in those highlights there also so with that guys huge recommendation here really enjoyed my time using him but with that my beautiful chalupa lovers i love you all i'll be signing out now and i'll catch you guys later